All right, everybody. So again, Kyle, Century 21. Guys, this is an important message, and I think it's a message that everyone needs to hear, um, whether you're in real estate uh, in some capacity. If you're a seller, you're looking to sell. If you're a buyer, you're looking to buy or a buyer that has been, you know, really shopped out of this market for the last 6, 12, 18 months. Um, we've been in a upswing on real estate for the last, you know, two, three, four years here. Obviously, that's when you saw the dramatic upswing start to happen. And I'm putting this out today because I think it's important that buyers and sellers understand that the narrative has shifted. The narrative has changed, right? And what does that mean? That means that the market, as strong and as hot as it is, is starting to take the first, and when I, I want to reiterate the word first, the first step to leveling off and starting to cool down. And why is that important? Guys, I think that's important because if I'm looking to sell and a friend of mine or my aunt or my uncle or my mom or my dad sold three, six, nine months ago and they had 50 people come to the showing, right? And then they've got multiple offers and they ended up getting 80K over asking. Today, July 22nd or 21st or whatever day today is, okay? Today, that entire narrative has changed and the entire landscape has changed a little bit. What we're starting to see when we list a property, right? Instead of getting 50 people at the open house or 50 people at the first showing, there's eight, there's 10. Instead of the property going for 10, 15, 12 offers all over asking price, there's two, there's three. And we've started to see our first, <clears throat> our first site of offers coming in under asking price or offers coming in at asking price. So we had a property recently, four offers, two of the offers were asking price, two of the offers were under asking price, right? So four offers, two, two at and two below. And I think that's a C, material C change that we need to make note of. So again, real quick, in conclusion, guys, if you're a buyer and you're frustrated, maybe a good time to kind of come back into the market Inventory in Rhode Island alone has went up dramatically in the last month or so. If you're a seller and you're on the fence, get off that fence as soon as possible. And, I, and I'm putting this out so that everyone can understand when there is a material change, we want to make note of it and we want to make sure that we educate you and add some value so you understand what's going on. So hopefully everybody has a great rest of the July. We're at the tail end of summer. I actually, I'd say we're in the middle of summer here and we are excited. And as always, I'm happy to help you with any of your real estate needs.